guys welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well so <laughs> i have been saying for a few months now we'll get a candle collection and i never quite knew how to display it you will see in this week's vlogmas upcoming i had a genius idea to think maybe i wonder if the pasting table will fit across the bed and you know what it did so i've managed to put the pasting table as a huge tray across the bed which now i know it fits is going to be very very handy for some upcoming videos but not gonna lie it was a little bit of a squeeze to try and get in to try and get in and not break the table not tip the candles and try and get the camera this angle has been set up by mama g because trust me when i say once i'm in this situation I ain't getting out of here, I'm afraid. You are quite far away, but what I'll do is when I show you the cameras, when I show you the candles, I'll do a little zoom in and all of that jazz, all right? So, you said you wanted a candle collection, my lovelies, and I'm here to give you that one. So, get comfy, get cosy, get your pen and paper, because I'm going to be going through my favourite brands, the products, everything like that, all right? And could always be great for some upcoming Christmas presents. So, yes, let's stop rabbiting on and let's get in with our candle collection 2021. <laughs> right, so, I don't quite know where to begin. There are a few little ones that I couldn't get out because they are wedged, but the ones that I haven't got out, I will say now, are the essentials. So, they are... Bags of... Shannon Lee, do not put your weight on that table. <laughs> oh my god, this might end up in a disaster, my lovelies. We're just going to go with it and be very, very careful, all right? So my lovelies, the first thing you need, if you like wax melts, oil burners, anything like that, or even just in general, because even though they're unscented, they still do give the warmth. And they are huge, huge bags of unscented tea lights. Now, I get mine from Asda. I think they are two or three pound for a box of about 60. I know you can get them in the likes of Tesco, Ikea. I think you can get them in the range, but I think the range is a bit more pricier. Asda, I always go to for like just the plain necessities that you need. The main shops that I will speak about in this haul, my lovelies, will be Asda, Home Bargains, Ikea, TK Maxx, HomeSense, and then they will just be a few generic brands that you can get like Tesco's, Wilkinson's, everything like that, all right? So, on the theme of wax melts and oil burners, the main thing you need are good burners, right? I have a few selections here. So something like this is an oil burner. So as I say, I will be zooming you in so you can see this. You can tell it's an oil burner because it doesn't have much circumference on the top. Now something like this, you put the wax melt in the bottom and then your oil on the top. A few little droplets and then once it evaporates, you can top it up if you need to. This I actually got from Asda. I've got another one over there and this was part of their Halloween collection a few years ago because it's the iridescent vibe and everything like that. I think these were about £2 or £2.50 each. Asda, great place. This little baby, I think, was from one of the bargain shops, Panland, B&M or Home Bargains, and I think it was a quid or 150. These are better because they have a larger circumference, you see, there on the top, and it's deeper. So as I say, this is just of a more neutral one. Even though the colour's not very neutral, you could get these in like cream, black, tan, whatever is your colour scheme. But because it was Christmas, obviously we had to pick up a little festive edition. Now, these are the more neutral ones. I believe this one was Home Bargains, £2. I love this. So, it's a very sleek design one. You've got the white with the little silver trim and then a dark grey. And the dish, you could probably get one decent size wax melt. It's not huge, but it is workable. And then you put your tea light in there. And if you didn't want to have it shown, you could just simply have it like that with the wax melt. This is probably one of my favourites. This was from B&M and this is a double outlet. So where the majority of them you have the hole on one side so you can turn it around, it's reversible. With these ones, it is just a straight see-through one. This, if I remember correctly, was about $2.99, $3.50. But you probably remember these from hauls if you're a regular, my lovelies. I love the marble granite, almost textiles of it. And it is very large and deep. You could probably get... If you're going by the cubes, you could get definitely a good couple of cubes in there. Or if not, a complete Yankee wax melt in the top there. But as I say, wax melt holders and oil burners, you don't have to pay through the roof for them. I know there is the trend at the moment, a lot of the electric wax burners and the electric oil burners. 
they do look lovely because you can get ones that change colour and everything like that. But for me personally, I would be very worried that if something happened, say the heating function stopped and it just continued to heat, 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 heat. You've got glass there, you've got electrics. It could be potentially a recipe for disaster. So I do know a lot of people that have them. I was just about to lean on that table. We're not going to do that. Um, I know a lot of people that have them. But for me personally, I prefer the old fashioned tea light version. The reason for that is, as I say, because once the tea light goes out, it goes out, the wax will harden, and that will be done. Obviously, I still wouldn't suggest falling asleep with them on, because no one needs to be doing that, do they? But yes, as I say, love that. And I can't get to it now, because they're over there, but Yankee do really good wax milk burners, because they're like a flower top. If I remember, I'll pop a photo here, there, anywhere that I can see on screen, and I'll link them down below. Because they are very, very deep. I normally, when I have them, put two whole Yankee wax milk discs in there, which are rather large. So when they melt, it does fill up, but you get a good depth on it and a good little circumference. So as I say, they are the necessities for like the wax melts and oil burners. And then of course, in my little box of goodies that we have here, my lovelies, we have some. So... Let's just go on to the three essentials that you will need for your candles, all right? And that is, I still use my fuel one, but it will be a lighter. These I just pick up from Tesco. They are one pound. You get them in so many colours. I never refill them. I just, once they're done, chuck them away. But they are handy to have just on the off chance that my rechargeable one isn't charged. Now, if you remember, this is what Brandon got me last year for christmas absolutely love it and have i got it charged oh yes it is charged so i can be using that one these again i think they average about 10 to 12 pound i want to say there are some really bougie ones that you can get that do loads of other functions but it's handy i always want to get another one of these every time i go on amazon i always mean to pick up another one whether it be a black or a silver but never do i always just end up getting carried away with pointless stuff that i probably don't need but hey ho electric candle lighters are great because they're just rechargeable and then as i say when they're low charge them up but i always have my fuel one just in case and then the last thing that i think is an absolute essential which has got a wax melt burner on it great is a wick trimmer now these i picked up from yankee at ashford and if you don't know what a wick trimmer is it basically you see by the bottoms it's like flat so when you go to cut it it cuts it almost at like a tad of an angle but yes i would say invest in a good pair of these so i've had some before and if you don't do it right or the wick's a bit tough it can snap so i would say these i think were about five pound from the outlet obviously they're going to be a bit more expensive online but say have a look at amazon and i did have one but i couldn't find it when i was going through probably because i don't really reach out for it much is a candle snuffer i will pop a picture up there if you're not aware of what it is but it's literally just a long stick with almost like a little bell on it without the bell and you put it over to snuff the candle instead of like blowing it out or putting the lid anything like that but anyway, Shannon Lee, you're digressing. Wax melts and oils. So where can we put you? Let's just balance you on there for a minute, yeah? So wax melts, you know the drill. Always rave from Halloween through to Christmas. S'mores scents. She is a lovely lady on Instagram and I will leave her page down there below. But as you can see, I'm working my way through the Christmas lot. Let's have a look. She does gorgeous flavours. Hot chocolate, Christmas spice, Christmas tree, bubblegum fantasy absolutely love that and as i say another good version is from asda the brand pacific wick i got the ones gingerbread house you would have seen in the asda hall and for one pound you can't go wrong my lovelies some that i've picked up off etsy and these are like my autumnal ones but oh they are divine campfire s'mores pumpkin patch so as I say, this is by a little brand on Etsy. And what I will do is put a little inserted clip just showing you the pumpkin wax melts in there because they are divine. And then for oils, I get my oils pretty much anywhere and everywhere. Poundland is a great version. So Poundland, you just get their Tipsy Plum and Vanilla Crush scented oil. And then another place which you may not think of, my lovelies, the Body Shop. 
So I do have a few from the body shop here. What have we got? Sorted caramel and vanilla and pomegranate and raspberry. I do appreciate that you're probably not going to see these even zoomed in. So I will try my best to get them as close as I can for you. And the other place, which as I say, is quite a staple for candle stuff in general. I mean, you can get the unscented tea lights from there. You can get a few of the other brands that I'm going to show you is Wilco. So I got warm vanilla pod and sweet strawberry and red fruits. Now, these were a pound each or so. You have to be careful with the oil burners, my lovelies, and the oils that go in them, because some of them will advise you to dilute. So if they advise you to dilute, please do so, because some of them are, can be so overpowering. I made the mistake with the Body Shop one, it said to dilute, and I was like, Pff, well, then I'm going to lose the smell. So I put quite a few drops in my thing, and oh my God, I went and had a bath come in, and you got that hit, but it wasn't really a good hit because it was very overpowering. So that is why the majority of them say to dilute, just with like a few little drops of water, almost just to diffuse the situation, you know, because we don't want anyone passing that having any problems at all, do we? Right. You best get comfy because what should we go into next? Should we do a bit of a TK Maxx and Home Sense? <laughs> so we all know the drill now. TK Maxx and Home Sense are go tos. Whenever I go in there, it's probably what, four to five candles on average? I just can't help it, my lovelies. They do more American brands. So, as I say, Sand and Fog, DW Home, brands that we don't typically get here in England. And I'm so, so jealous because I follow the DW Home Instagram can and I see their new sets all the time. And I'm like, please, can you just open a DW Home and a Bath and Body Works here? in england bath and body works you can now get in next i keep being told whenever i go on it's sold out though fabulous so i'm thinking why can you not just uh, put a little bit of dw home on there as well for us you know so tk max tk max and home sets what are we gonna begin with let's go in so as i say we're talking let's do dw home first all right you would have seen these all in the halls but <sighs> The scents also, my lovelies, are some that I've got to use for Christmas, some that have been left over from autumn, and some that I've just like picked up along the way and are just going to be like all year round. So you might think, well, this is a spring and a summer scent. My collection, as you all know, whenever I go, I like to stock up in advance. So when we went to TK Maxx and Home Scents for Christmas, I was still picking up some watermelon scented ones for the spring, you know, so we're not going to go there. Guava and Kiwi, $5.99. DW Home, I love the packaging. The scents are great. And for $5.99, I don't think it's too bad. When you compare, say, for example, a medium Yankee is normally about £14. So it's practically double. Maybe because it's a brand better known in England, Yankee, and DW Home is not really out there, or possibly just because it's in like TK Maxx and Home, so it's a bit cheaper. So we have Guava and Kiwi. As I say, you'll notice by the sense as I go through, I like a bit of everything and anything, all right? We have here apple and coconut. Oh, yes. See, ones like these, love that because it is a very, very neutral. But apple and coconut, when you smell it, this could be spring, summer, and into autumn. Not winter. It's not a winter one. But I like my candles so that I can use them all year round pretty much as i say the medium ones are all 5.99 so where have we got do we have any more going once going twice no so that is it for the dw home mediums i don't tend to get any of the larger ones because the larger ones i find are great if you've got your own home your living room to go in like the center of a coffee table I don't, and particularly I don't even have room at the moment for the candles that I have. So no more. No, no more at all. Moving on to the little ones is where I get a bit carried away. So the smaller sizes range between $2.99 and $3.49. Right, this is where it gets addictive. So again, $2.99 compared to a fiver. I think they're five or six, the mini Yankees. And when you compare them, there's not much difference in the size, but... You can practically get two for these. So we have quite a selection of these. We have tropical passion fruit. We have sweet pea pomegranate. Now, these two, especially sweet pea pomegranate, 
is the perfect fresh scent for coming into spring. You may also be thinking, Shannon Lee, when you go into spring, you don't need candles. Yes, I burn candles from 1st of September all the way through to probably, depending how cold it is, I will still have candles burning in March, potentially April, because I do have a few Easter candles. But for me, it's not necessarily for the warmth. I mean, in the colder months, it's absolutely fabulous to have a bit of warmth. But it is the ambiance coming in and lighting a candle. It just chills me. It just gives me zen. And I can't I can't deal with not having a candle on. Like, when I go to Brandon's and he don't have a candle, I'm like, Brandon, come on, we need to get a candle in there, darling. We need to light a zen. But he's not very into his candles. When he comes in half the time, he's like, oh, what's that smell? I'm like, oh, excuse me, new Yankee candle excuse me well so yes we've got sweet pea pomegranate and passion fruit and then we have island guava and spooky so here you will see we've got a lovely summer one and a leftover one from autumn slash halloween i love these as well because in the smaller ones particularly in the larger ones you'll tend to get frosted styles or plain ones but in the little ones they tend to do them color coded so if say for example you love blue or green you can go there and get all like minis in the colors you like i particularly like coming into the spring and summer the yellow candles we all know i love a bit of sunshine yellow so that goes straight in my basket well actually who am i kidding i have a trolley when i go to those shops oopsie this one was dw home but it was dw naturals you remember the one i picked it up I was like, huh? How is this DW Home? This was $3.49, so I think you pay an extra 50p because it is of a natural design. But as I say, if you are a bit more into the rustic vibe, this is spiced apple and pumpkin. So this one can actually stay out because it is an autumn slash winter scent because it's got the spiced apple. Spiced apple cider for the Christmas markets. Don't mind if I do, thank you very much. And then the last few that we've got here. Oh my god, pumpkin. I thought I broke me now. Not that I'm breaking the candles. Oh no. Oh, look at that. $2.99 and it's robust. Pumpkin cheesecake, eat your heart out. Oh my god, that didn't even like shatter or nothing. You go, DW Home, and I didn't break a nail. It's a good day, my lovelies. It is a good day. So pumpkin cheesecake. This is one that I will pop away for next year. Because I'm not going to lie, sometimes, even like mid-August, if it starts getting a bit chilly, because let's face it, in England, when do we get warm weather? Not likely. So sometimes I do even burn candles in August. And that is the perfect one just to like slowly ease me into the autumnal spirit, you know? And then these two are the latest ones to add to the collection. These were what I picked up when I'd done the Christmas hauls. Nectarine peach and watermelon lemonade. Again, DW Home, $2.99, but slightly different design. More of like a summer frosted glass with a little coloured lid. So yes, DW Home, as I say, small ones two ninety nine to three forty nine. The medium ones are five ninety nine to sometimes six ninety nine, and then you get large ones that are around nine ninety nine, and then you get the really really large ones that are about, I think twenty five, fifteen, twenty five quid, like in that region. While we're on the topic of Home Sense TK Maxx, two that I picked up for the Christmas hauls, but I've not yet burned into them, are Purity Lab. Never tried this brand before, so as I say, once I do like them, best believe I will be telling you. But we've got a spiced wild pear and a peppermint. So you know, of course, the peppermint will be getting burnt because it is Christmas. We all know I love a candy cane. But this one was $9.99 and the baby one was $8.99, but I got it for six in the sale. So actually, I don't think that that is a bad price either. And it's a double wig and it smells insane. Whilst we're on that, as I say, the other brand is Sand and Fog. Now, Sand and Fog, you will pay slightly more. I don't particularly know why. I think it is to do with the lids. So this is the largest candle I have ever bought, apart from this guy, who I'll show you in a moment, from TK Maxx and Home Sense, as I say, because I normally stick with the medium ones. So I picked up the Holiday Berry Sand and Fog, and this was $12.99. So you'll remember this if you've seen it in the haul, but the main thing was the lid on it. They are also, let's get it off and not drop it, Shannon Lee. 
Oh, that's on there tight. God. Oh, there we go. It is a triple wick, my lovely. So, oh, that is delightful. Something like this, I think, will be the one that I will burn the week of Christmas, you know, just to get us in the spirit even so more. And then the medium ones are $7.99. So, a couple of quid more than the DW Home. Oh, but I do think that you pay for the lids. This table is a rocking and I'm a very worried. <laughs> so the medium ones, as I say, are $7.99. I picked up Cinnamon Noel. That one's so tight. Oh, I love that. Double wick. And as I say, $7.99 for this one. And I do think you pay because of the lid on it. And then I think we have one left over from Autumn. Yes, we have Pumpkin Harvest double wick so the only difference i think with sand and fog is not only you get a nice little crafted lid but on the mediums you get a double wick and on the larges you get a triple wick whereas with dw home you just get a standard wick i think on the really really large dw homes you do get a double wick but save a couple of quid because by that couple of quid you can get yourself a uh, another little baby one can't you right I am feeling slightly <laughs> suffocated at the moment. I need to stretch my legs out because, oh my God, I literally can't move. Every time like I put something back, the table moves. And I'm like, oh my God, please don't fall on me. Oh no. The last little guy from TK Maxx and Home Sense. Right. I was gutted that I couldn't find the Christmas one of this. I honestly was. But it is this little guy. And if we all remember... He's got a candle inside, but I'm going to reuse him as a cookie jar. I did get one for spring and summer. That one I've burnt at halfway, only halfway. Oh my gosh, Shana, you've got cramp. Ooh, ow. Um, that one, I have used half of it and I can't... There are a few that I can't get to, but they are only the ones that I have for Easter. So you would have remembered them from the hauls if you saw them. I got him in like a baby blue version, and then I got a little candle with an Easter bunny on. But I'm going to stop yakking, and then when we come back, my lovelies, we can go through Glaze, the little random shops, bits and bobs, Ikea. We've got a bit of Bath and Body Works in there that I am still holding on to from my visit to Cancun. And then we have our Eco Wigs which are dupes of Woodwick. We do have a Woodwick still here. Plenty of Yankee and all of the tea lights. So make sure you go and grab yourself a cuppa, whichever drink of your choice, and let's get back in for part two of the candle collection. <laughs> are you feeling refreshed, my lovelies? I have just managed to stretch my legs out whilst not trying to aggravate the table. So I'm feeling a lot better, all right? Another brand that I would highly recommend is Glade. Glade and Airwick, I absolutely love. You pick them up from the bargain shops. Majority of mine I get either from Tesco or Wilkinson's. But let's lean over. You get this little design, which is kind of their classic design. They do them with different colourings, I think. So you have a plum one, which is purple, a pine or a spruce one, which is green. But mine is red, red and white. Can we guess what it is? candy cane so we have that and then the other design that they do which is kind of more i think the classic range a lot of people might not like having all the filigree around it these ones just come in a clear glass little votive bottle and this i'm so excited i don't quite know when i'm going to burn this limited edition apple cozy cider maybe when we have our first mulled wine who knows that is a very very warmly candle if you like something with a bit of sweetness and spice perfect and again any of these scents you can pretty much find in any other candle supplier let's be perfectly honest i mean whether it be yankee or eco wigs or ikea let's move on because ikea oh my god Cannot go wrong with them. So Ikea, number one, great value for money. The scent choice is unbelievable. And they're plain, they're simple, they're absolutely fabulous. So the little ones are one pound and they're by the brand or the Ikea name for them is Sinlig. So this little one is actually a cherry one. And as I say, with Ikea, it tells you on the front the name and how many hours burning. So for one pound, you get 25 hours of burning time with Ikea. But 
I always normally go for the big ones. So Sinlig, the bigger ones are £2, and with these you get 40 hours. These ones are potentially my favourite. The strawberry and the peach. We all know what I like about peach. In the summer, peach, watermelon, strawberry and mango are like my go-to. The strawberries and berries, lovely. You could even burn that now because it's a very fruity, obviously it's fruity, Shane, it's berries, come on. But you know berries are like Christmassy, aren't they? But oh, the peach, the peach just reminds me of being on a beach. I really want to be on a beach this year. I'm sick of being pale like Casper. I need a bit of a tan. But yes, that is absolutely vibes. Ikea as well, when we move on to the tea lights, because there's a big box of tea lights there, we've got Ikea, we've got quite a lot of brands, all different price points, and as I say, you can't go wrong. I am that person who goes to Ikea and will go, I don't know, for a pan set, let's say, and then you walk into the home accessories and before you know it, my trolley is filled with tea lights, candles, votives, candle holders, everything like that. Talking of votives, votives are, I don't normally have votives throughout the year, I'm not going to lie, they do tend to be normally just at Christmas time because throughout the year a lot of my holders are more tea lights, whereas when it comes to Christmas I have a lot more votives, so hence why the votives only really come out at Christmas my lovelies, but let's just grab a few random ones, so of course Yankee. These will vary between 79p and a pound, depending where you buy them, depending if you get them on a deal. But, 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 let's get these uh, B and M are great. So I know they're still 89p, but I love it. B and M do such great retro flavours. So these are rainbow drops. I've also had some which are chub chub. But I would say my go-to flavour, so for this year, it would be clementines, cinnamon, maybe like an Irish cream, like a warm Bailey scent, uh, mulled wine, plums, anything like that. Throughout the year, I like, they do quite a few, what's my neutral ones I've got in here? Lime and coriander, pomegranate. Festive morning, oh that's a lovely one for the Christmas time, birthday cake, mango sunrise, so as you can tell I do like a lot of ah, citrus, so I would say springtime, oh my god I'm really trying not to <laughs> break this table, springtime we're going in with the apples, but apples not spiced like just a nice fresh apple, some pears, which I have got a few pear ones down here, and maybe like a little soft berry. When we get fully into summer, we are going watermelon, passion fruit, lemon, everything you will see. My candle collection for Yankees is pretty much spring and summer. I love a few of their classics, but the classics for Christmas never seem to change. With the spring and summer, they're always bringing out new ones, and there are a few that I am pained to burn because they are now no longer available. So I'm like, oh, I bought them in packs of two and then these are like my remainders. And I'm like, I don't want really to use them. So I just like to smell the scent every now and then. And I know I'm not going to be able to get it again, but meh. And then from autumn, as I say, it's clementines coming in with a bit of spice. Anything like pumpkin baking orientated like that's when we start getting the apples but they're more like apple pies and apple and pumpkin apple and cinnamon and then come christmas we're apples mulled wine cinnamon spice gingerbread we all know i love gingerbread candy canes the whole shebang right my lovelies i do have even more special to me than the limited edition yankees that i will no longer be able to get i hold two bath and body works candles now these i picked up not last year, not this year, 2019, the last holiday me and Brandon went on when we went to Rivermaya in Mexico and we went down to Rivermaya town, Playa de Carmen and there was a Bath and Body Works there. I was carried away to say the least, I was limited on the amount of candles I could bring back because number one, the weight, didn't want to smash them and also the budget that I had left in my uh, 
money. I was going to say euros. It's not. It's pesos and dollars. But not to say I didn't go overboard with the anti wax and the hand creams and all the digi stuff that I could put in my hand luggage. I did pick up two candles. And I think this was two. What's it got on here? 299 pesos. I don't even have my phone on me. But I think it worked out like two for 30 quid or something. Right. These candles... When I smelt them, I was just like, we need to have this in England. Why do we not have Bath & Body Works in England? As I say now, we do have a little bit on next, but it's always sold out. So, I wanted some scents that would just scream holiday to me. Because I knew when I bought them, I probably wasn't ever going to burn them. Or I would burn them when I knew I was going back somewhere with the Bath & Body Works. So as I say, I think it was about 2 for £30 it uh, worked out. So I loved it because they are all non-coloured wax. So they are all just a natural colour wax. But they have the different collections via the tags. So as I say, the Sugared Lemon Zest one was part of the Citrus collection. And the Cactus Blossom was part of the Nature collection, I think it was. Oh my god. So right, Cactus Blossom... I saw it and I only picked it up because it had a pink tag, but it's so weird because you're going to laugh at me. It smells like Lynx. You know, like Lynx Africa. It smells like a man's deodorant. So at first when I saw Cactus Blossom, I thought it was going to be like very blossomy, you know, like perfumed. But it says made with essential oils and it's a white barn scented candle. I would highly recommend this. If you're ever somewhere with a Bath & Body Works or you're able to get your hands on it, Cactus Blossom. If you like that Lynx fresh man's aftershave smell, that is the one, my lovelies. And I say, when I picked it up, I was pleasantly surprised. And I was like, you know what? That's very unique. I'm going to pick it up. This one you didn't even have to ask twice. The Sugared Lemon Zest. Oh, this was potent as well. Wow, that is like someone is just literally grating lemon in front of you. And considering I've had these two years now, they haven't lost their scent. I don't know, however, look at this. I say like I'm a candle connoisseur and all that. I don't actually know how long you're supposed to use candles when you get them. I'm just trying to read it, but it's all in uh, Mexican. Oh, there's the English bit. So this one says do not burn the candle for more than three to four hours at a time. And you get between 25 and 45 hours. That is just phenomenal. Like lemon ice ice cream. If you get it off the uh, ice cream man. But that is another thing you have to watch out for my lovelies. When you buy candles. Read the recommended burn time. I am not going to lie. am terrible for it. So those ones say between like 3 and 4 hours. Let's have a look. Does anyone else... Oh, so maybe they have loads of pictures, but it doesn't. That's about the week. Does Yankee say anything? No. Right, so Bath and Body Works seem to be the only ones that actually have a burn time on them. I thought the others might. So I am terrible because I will burn my Yankee candles. Oh, I'm going to say on a weekend for like eight to ten hours straight, which is probably terrible because I know there's a set guideline because it's obviously the wick burning into the oil and it can affect the um, scent. I was going to say flavour there. It can affect the scent. But for me, I think that is why I stick with Yankee a lot. Like my little ones, so all of my little DW homes, they will be like my weekday candles. You're probably thinking this girl's so extra, she has weekend and weekday candles. It's just the way I am. Because I know with the weekday ones, they'll be burnt from maybe 6, 7 o'clock until about 10 ish latest because obviously I've got to keep for work. Whereas on a weekend, I will have it burning pretty much majority of the day. I've never had an incident, a touch wood of any problems with Yankee. I don't know if it's because, I think, is it tempered glass or it's like double walled? I don't know if that's a thing, but as I say, currently I've got them on now. It is a Sunday afternoon and they've been on for, 
what's the time now probably about two ish they've been on for about five hours already people might think that's ridiculous but as i say touch wood i've never had any problems but i am now starting to make more of a conscious effort to not burn them for as long or like take it in breaks so if i am out of the room when i go in the bath i'll blow them out instead of leaving them on for while i'm not in the room but yes i thought that a lot more would have had timings on here but hmm, obviously not just one little candle i want to show you which is kind of like a little gimmicky one but i picked this up from home bargains february march time and it is a love heart candle so again the bargain shops are great because you can get like little themed ones and this is purely swizzles love hearts in a candle i am also one that i pick up candles for the holders like you'll know a lot of my ones from tk maxx and home sense i've actually got some holders over there like the pumpkin spice latte the tall one once that's done, I will actually wash them out and I'll keep that maybe as like a makeup brush holder or something that I can use as a decorational piece. Likewise with Sand and Fog, I like to keep some of the lids. I've got a few in my collection from last year, like with the little gonks and that on. Don't keep like the whole candle once it's burnt out, but I do like to keep the lids because I think they could be like really nice coasters or just something unusual. I don't know why, don't ask me. They always have a little saying on the bottom as well, but I just thought they'd be really nice coasters or something quirky so waste not whatnot eh right eco wicks woodwicks are the crackle company brands right so woodwicks are creme de la creme the top the main guy everything like that so i do have one here i picked him up at the outlet so woodwick is expensive because it has the crackle function you will pay for that You'll get a mini one, which is probably no bigger than the small candle for Yankee. And that will be about £8. The medium ones are about, I want to say 16 to 18 And the large ones can be 25 to £35. So I've got one here, Summer Sweets. Absolutely love it. So you can get plain ones, or the majority of the ones I go for are the different coloured waxes. And then when you take the lid off, you'll see it's like a little crossover. So that when you light it, almost does like a little formation. And as it goes, it like catches against each other and it crackles like an open wood fire. Whenever me and Brandon go to the log cabin, if we don't have a log fire in there, I'll always take one of my woodwick or eco wicks just for like that ambiance, you know, because there is nothing more relaxing than having the crackle going on i do actually have a little one here you might remember from one of the hauls because i've actually burnt the other one already oopsie but if you don't want to be spending the prices of that i don't blame you at all in asda asda just do two sizes a small and a medium they don't do a large so let's just compare the sizes right so the woodwicks is about 16 to 18 pound and this is the ecoix asda version this is eight pound, right? Eight pound. What one's this? Lychee, mango, and coconut. Absolutely love it. So the only difference when you open this one, it just has the single bark, but again, you still get the crackle. And then the baby ones in Asda are five pound, and this is the little gingerbread one. You will remember if you've seen this in the Asda haul, the two colour tone, and when you take the lid off again it's just the one little wick so the only difference purely is that it has one wick as opposed to the crossover i have never had a problem with the eco wicks don't get me wrong if i see a wood wick and it's on offer i always remember i picked one up at the outlet before and it was called holiday wreath or holiday garland and it was a tall version with wood wick you can get a rectangle one an oval one or the tall one i had a tall one and it was red at the top for cinnamon white in the middle for vanilla and then green at the bottom was like a piney spruce absolutely loved it and in the outlet i got that for a tenner so that's what i mean if you do see anything like that in the outlets and i'm talking like outlets all over england you've got bicester braintree ashford portsmouth chester is it chester somewhere in manchester ch -ch 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 chester I had a right mind blank there where is that i can't remember but i know it's up by manchester somewhere 
Cheltenham. Chester. I think it is Chester. Anyway, any outlets over UK, just Google. I think it's by the brand MacArthur Glen. If you just type in designer outlets over England, you'll see them. A majority of them will have a Yankee store there. And as I say, with the Yankee, they will do your accessories. So you can get like your candle lighters, your wick trimmers. And the majority of them will also have woodwork in there. So I think we're going to leave the Yankee to last because Yankee is quite a large bit. But with regards to tea lights. Oh my God, I can't even lift it. Woo! Look at that upper body strength ratio. Ay, ay, ay. Right. I love my tea lights, as you can tell. Where can we put you where you're not going to knock everything over? There. A brand that is more online or in your bargain shops is Jelly Belly. I cannot rave about Jelly Belly enough. They are normally £1.50 for 10 lights. So you can probably get cheaper, but nice little scent. I've got Strawberry Daiquiri and Peach Bellini here. Lovely, lovely summer scents. And then... <laughs> Oh, goodness, don't shout at me. We all know. Is there any more? Oh, yes, there is. We all know my addiction for Wickford & Co. These are what you get from Home Bargains, my lovelies, 99p. And as you can see, <laughs> I'm quite stocked up. I've got a nice little supply here, if I do say so myself. And then another place, as I say, Ikea. What have we got here for Ikea? Down to the uh, last four packs, because I do pick these scents up in every single flavour. So we have, they're all, again, by the brand Sin League, and I think this is £1.80 for 30 So we have the Peach, classic. We have vanilla, which is perfect. I love having these in the bathroom in summertime and in the kitchen. And then we have our green apple is just divine. And then following on, we have the berries. These you can smell through the packaging. And as I say, I can't knock Ikea. Ikea are definitely up there for the tea lights. You're probably thinking, Shannon Lee, what are you doing? I'm just putting it there because I don't really trust myself putting them back in that box over on that shelf, all right? And then I'll, I've only got two left. Oh, no. Asda, Asda tea lights, one pound for 24. I'm down to my last two packs. Oh, no, coconut and peach, but that's fine. I will maybe put on my little list to Santa. Could potentially do with some more Asda tea lights. Or do I? Because I do have quite a stock up. But I'm not going to lie, my lovelies. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22 tea light holders out at the moment. And I will probably change them twice a week. So from now till Christmas, these could potentially be used. Who knows? I'm just throwing it out there, all right? And then let's just end on with the Yankee. So as I say, my Yankee collection is my baby. Um, majority of these I do pick up at the outlet centres or if they're on a club card offer or I've got any club card points, they are what I do. So baby ones, these are diddy. As I say, these are normally about five to six pound. We have English pear and white grape and exotic fruits. Now, this English pear one is the perfect crisp scent for spring you know what i was saying about apples and pears that is pure pear like someone has just shoved a pear under my nose and that is what it's like and exotic fruits that has been a go-to of mine for quite a few years i don't have the big one anymore because i used it this summer but it is very similar notes to i can't see because they're all backwards to me great didn't think this through, did I, Shannon Lee? So we'll go on to the medium ones. So the medium ones, I think, are between 12 to 16 pound, I believe, depending on the scent. So we have a crisp apple and jasmine and a simply sweet pea. As I say, the majority of these I'll either pick up from the Yankee store if they're on offer or if there's any promotions in Asda, Tesco, Anywhere like that, I'll always have a look. Clinton's is a good place as well. They normally have a lot of offers on uh, Yankee. These are perfect. These are like my spring ones. So I'm all set for spring. Fabulous. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then, right. 
So let's get, is that a Christmas one? Right. The big ones, they are about £25 normally. Go to the outlets, you can pick them up for £10 or £12.50, so you get them about half price. However, Clinton's, so I can't actually rave about Clinton's enough because our local one, they always have candles in the sale, always half price, or at least down to 15 quid, so you get a tenner off. This one is a returning favourite, Frosty Gingerbread. Oh my God, perfect, absolutely perfect. And then I think, is this what I think it is? I really don't want to burn this. I really don't want to burn this because I don't think that they do this anymore. I might be wrong. Or have they changed the packaging? It's the Yankee Christmas cookie. It could be that they still do it. I would think that they would still do it because it's probably one of their best selling ones at Christmas. But I think the packaging's changed. Oh, that just brings back so many memories like my first time at ashford buying the big one of this and i was like oh my god because i say they're a lot cheaper i don't want to burn this because i have a feeling they've really changed the packaging this year or oh, why do i feel like that let me know if i'm wrong i have a feeling that this has significantly changed but i like the old school version of it and then one that i picked up from tesco for their yankee home inspirations section is citrus gingerbread now this is a whole nother spin all right imagine it's probably gonna sound really disgusting to people imagine gingerbread with a lemon drizzle icing most people are probably going to be shouting at the screens right now but that absolutely delicious and then my last few oh no what's this one this is an autumnal color clementine spice how could I forget about this? This was a new one. Picked this up with my um, club card. It was down to £7. And I had seven quid in my vouchers. So didn't cost us a penny. And then the last few. So we've got four remaining candles out of this collection. Thank goodness because my legs are seizing up. But they are my go-to summer scents for Yankee. All right. Let's throw it back old school. So. Passion fruit martini. Oh my god, you all know. I got this last year, I believe, on my what I got for my birthday, and I went through quite a few jars. This I don't think they do anymore, which absolutely breaks my heart because this is just pure holiday in a candle, like pure holiday. And I don't want to, I don't want to burn it because I don't think I could get it anymore. This one I know you can't get anymore because I picked up two of these when we went to the outlet. This is strawberry lemon ice, and it was part of the Sunday brunch collection with Yankee as well. They do loads of like these little one-off collections, and I remember there was one called like a fresco tea, which was like a bright green candle. Don't do them anymore, which pains me. These two, however are new for this year so i highly highly like them they done a watermelon scented last year but it weren't watermelon slice i think it was called something else we all know my love for watermelon and best believe that with the watermelon lemonade will both be getting burned as soon as summer kicks in but this one is brand new for this year this is mango lemonade I actually picked this up in Argos. Argos are great and always have a look out for their offers as well. Love it. Absolutely love it. So you have Yankee Candle and then you have Yankee Candle Home Inspiration. I think they're both the same, to be perfectly honest. They're all Yankee, aren't they? I'm not a... I don't care if it's got a different name or if it's a bit cheaper in the supermarket. If it's cheaper, it means that I can buy a few more, right? But my lovely is I am seized. I am stuck, I am surrounded by candles, which means our candle haul collection is done. <laughs> so my lovelies, I do hope that I manage to uh, show it in a good enough way because if you like the way that this is done, I'm thinking this is how I'm potentially going to do my handbag collection so I can have them like dotted up and then be able to show you lovelies as and when like selections and different collections and all of that jazz. I think this is the genius idea, if I do say so myself. Um, absolutely love the idea, and it is very, very practical indeed. So if you ever, if anyone watching this is thinking or have their own YouTube channel and you want maybe a way of having like a big tray across your bed, 
get a pasting table. I think this is a two meter one, but it covers the width of a double bed. So yes, I am now gutted because I've got to put them all back. But actually there's a few that I'm glad I've got out because I can change over all my tea lights. I can bring all the proper festive ones out. Will I burn, what one will I burn out of my Christmas ones? Probably Frosty Gingerbread. I'll bring that one out because I've actually got crisp campfire s'mores burning at the moment and that one is practically non-existent along with the candy cane one from Asda. You would have seen the grey Yankee inspirations. That one's pretty much gone as well. So while I'm actually got them out, I can have a bit of a switch up, can't I? So yes, if you did enjoy the video guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment of are you a votive candle lover, candles in general, wax melts, oil melts, tea lights, which brand is your go-to? Anywhere you go to look for particular offers, particular scents, what's your favourite scent of candle? Or do you just like diffusers? Are you thinking, don't need the palaver with candles, I like the scent but I get them just from diffusers because I do have quite a diffuser collection but I didn't want to uh, complicate things, you know, and diffusers candles are like my go-to so yes as i say i do hope you've enjoyed the video my lovelies i hope you have enjoyed the way it's been laid out and as i say i've done the best that i can do but yes as i say take care stay safe as always and i shall see you tomorrow for a brand new video and let me know what you think of this because this could be the way that i could do some more collection videos maybe in the new year a perfume collection perhaps let me know down below all right but yes take care once again Stay safe once again. I'm like a broken record rambling. Bye, guys.